Yes, good afternoon from Harold Moody Park. This is Peter Bog of Pete's Filming, bringing you live co coverage of the fifth Fox Memorial game between Glenora Bears and Maris Saints. Glenora beat Pacaranga 72-8 last week, and Maris beat Papatoe 64-4 so, last week, so it could be an interesting game, the two halves. So, uh, we'll, um, just to mention to the um, Glenora Club, we have a, a player of the Glenora Club that's been here since he was 11 years old. He's playing his 150th game today. That is um, Philip Kingy. Great guy, good, good halfback, good captain. He's uh, also led his team as captain of the Fox Championship years ago and had consecutive championship wins with under 16s and 18s and under 20s. So, all for Glenora. He has played representative league for New Zealand, Akarana, and New Zealand Mary. So, he needs to uh, be proud of himself what he's done today and uh, what he's doing for the future for Glenora. And uh, it's good to see. So, we'll be back in a moment for the uh, kickoff. We're yeah, back again for the um, delayed broadcast. We'll get right this time. So uh, the referee today is, is uh, Parky Parkinson, and the touch judges are uh, Maxine Godney and uh, Warren Clark. So we had problems with the sound today and I'm not sure whether, hopefully, the um, broadcast is coming to you, um, the, sound, the audio is coming to you from uh, me onto the uh, SD card so that when it goes on YouTube you'll hear what I've got to say. But, uh, as I said before with uh, Philip Kingy, the uh, master of 150 games today for, uh, in number 7 jersey for... Uh, Glenora. There we go. We're underway. The weather's fined up for us this afternoon for the 2.30 game. Thank goodness, because before the 12.45 game, it just uh, really hosed down. So we're underway now with uh, Maris kicking off from right to left. Glenora will be the first ones to uh, run it out and use the big boy there. We'll get the numbers right soon. That was big number 10, that was uh, Vasu Vulaga, Lolagi. Uh, Mr. Parkinson uh, giving nine uh, the message for offside. So the first penalty goes to uh, Glenora and it'll be uh, Aoka to take the kick for touch and make sure it goes up with Duck Park, damn near. Brown with the ball gets it out to his right. And that was number 11 Buchanan coming through with the ball. Goes out to looking for the offload Glenora there. Take it to the right hand side, and that's um, Kavaliku. Kavaliku takes it up the middle of the park, and the dummy half goes uh, Levi. Levi gets it out to his right hand side, goes out to uh, Fiamani. Fiamani takes it towards the line. Glenora looking hot on attack at this early stage in the game. Levi with the ball gets it out to the centre to the right hand, left hand side. Goes out to uh, Kingy. Kingy gets it out to long pass out to Chaz Brown. Inside pass. He tried to do a Benji Marshall there and get, gets it. Works it well. Not quite as good as Benji's, of course, but uh, gets it out to the right hand side. They come back left hand side with Brown taking the ball. And Kingy goes through. Is he going to get the first try of the game himself? No, he's not. And uh, Maris penalised for offside. Haki Parkinson, the referee, uh, says that. Uh, Go at the ball, I think it was. So Glenora with the ball now gets it out to uh, big number eight, and that's uh, Kavaliku. Kavaliku takes it towards the line, and to dummy half goes uh, Levi. Levi with the dummy half roll gets it out to his left hand side, goes on to for the Brown, and Brown drops the ball. Taz Brown. 
seen him do that a couple of times in his career, but he's uh, not a bad footballer, Chaz Brown. So first scrum of the game here. Comes out left hand side for um, Maris. They're trying to get her out, get themselves out of trouble there. Need somebody big run with the ball, a big long run. And number five, the winger tries to bring it out. He's not big enough. That's Polamalu. Polamalu. Polamalu, sorry. Glenora penalised there for the 10. So Glenora, uh, Maris to uh, get that uh, penalty. I'll kick it to touch. with the ball now. Gets to the middle, runs against the little guy there and uh, good tackle. They come right inside again. It's 22, which is um, the jersey numbers. 22, I haven't got his no name or number or whatever, but never mind. Um, the reserve grade was much better. But, uh, get up and play the ball. Goes to the hooker, number nine, that's um, Akola. Ak Akola. He'll get out and play the ball, and it goes out to Philip McMalio. Goes out to number three, Williams. Williams takes it up to that right hand side, and he's going to be brought down about 20 metres out from the line. Last tackle calls the referee. too long, goes dead, so it'll be a uh, 20 metre replay, restart for uh, Glenora. So uh, four and a half minutes gone here at uh, Harold Moody Park, it's number two, the winger, that's uh, Lua Falelio. Yep. There it is, it's uh, <coughs> Kevaliku took the ball up there and He's a couple of metres short of the halfway line. Full King into dummy half, the 150 game player today. There we go with number five. That's um, Zero. Zero will go out and play the ball inside the uh, Marist half. Goes out to uh, Bernard. Bernard takes it to the middle of the park and uh, he's right in the centre now. They bring it right again. Comes out to uh, Fayamani. Fayamani takes it on, takes him on in the, uh, the right hand side. He's going to dummy half again, it goes out left hand side and it's uh, Bernard takes the ball. That's Chaz Bernard. I thought he was overseas. Never mind, he's back obviously. Phil Kingy down that left hand side there, getting out to the winger, going to the winger number five. Will he get over the line? No, he's going over the side, touch line, not the uh, goal line, so it'll be a handover there. So the crowd building up a little bit here at um, Howard Moody Park, the home ground of um, Glenora Bears. Come out left hand side, Maris with the ball now. Six and a half gone now, no, no score. And that's um, Palomo that uh, Takes the tackle there, took the hit up, comes away again. It's uh, Siri. Siri takes it up the middle of the park, 15 metres short of the try, uh, the uh, halfway line. Now they go right hand side, only loses the ball. Good, good hard run, good hard run, and then loses the ball. So uh, not the best play. Number 12, I think it was Leilua, David Leilua. Maris to uh, feed the no, uh, Phil Kingy to fill this, feed the scrum for Glenora. Comes out the right hand side here, goes out to the, the standoff, goes to um, uh, 
two four. Two furs with the ball now. He gets up and plays it, comes out right hand side. He goes to Fahimani. Fahimani, he takes it inside the uh, 40 metre mark now. And going for extras. Goes away now. And it's uh, Tui Fua. Tui Fua takes it up to the 30 metre mark. They're inside the um, Marist half now, putting pressure on the Marist side. Goes out left hand side to Bernard. Bernard, the, uh, Kingy, Kingy out to the to Brown. Brown goes up the left hand side, sends it out to Azera. Azera going towards the line. Can't get through there. Is he going to get? He's going to be on his back. Oh, he's over. Rolls over and puts the arm out the right hand. Yeah, just like the land of the law. And scores the try. Referee's there, it's no problem at all. So, so Glenora first to attack and get, get uh, possession and uh, go into score after uh, eight and a half minutes. That was five. Yeah, eight and a half minutes. Zero, I think, is the man that scored the try down that left hand wing. So, uh, Nice try by Glenora. They put enough pressure on. So Camaris hold them out. Camaris get themselves going. Little crowd up on the hill out uh, here at Harold Moody Park, all uh, close enough to the cars so they can. Uh, Scarper and get in their cars if it rains again because as I said earlier in the day we had thunder and lightning and it wasn't uh, it wasn't very nice um, but scary in fact actually with the in the commentary box here could have been blown away so uh, Phil Kingy comes in and kicks. Up it goes, the flags. It's a good, a good kick there. Is that Phil Kingy? Of course it is. It's 150th game for the club and he's uh, put the team in front by six points to nil now. Nice little kick. Now let's kick off with number seven, it's um, Kahi Kahiva, goes back, it's uh, <coughs> Kavaluka, Kavaluka was the man that brought, brought it into play there, they come up the middle of the park, that's Bernard, looking for the offload, gets it out, and it's forward. Tui Fur, I think, yes. Tui Fur is the man that flicked that ball out there. So it's a uh, Maris feed. And they're about 30 metres away from the try line. Can they do something from this, uh, this scrum? It fed the scrum goes out to his number nine, and that was uh, Akaola. He gets up and plays the ball. They go out right hand side to the number ten. That's uh, Falulu Malu Malio. Marist uh, in position to go right and go right hand side with the number six, and out to the fullback. Fullback uh, pass that Siri. Siri passed out to the right hand side. Um, Glenora been penalised for a above the horizontal, picking a player up, and uh, we don't allow that in the game. It's uh, pretty dangerous. Siri to uh, put it into touch. I think it was. Comes away now, number 12 with a ball. That's uh, Le Lua, David La Lua. He's um, about five, six metres short of the try line there. They come right to the left-hand side, inside pass to um, to CO. CO uh, gets the ball and he takes towards the line. Mm. And nine penalised. That's Levi for uh, Glenora. Penalised for going back in and uh, trying to sneak that ball out. And then number ten goes through. That's uh, Valilua Malio goes towards the try line. He's tackled in there. Into dummy half goes Akaloa. 
a cooler, sorry, and it goes out to 13, there's CO, CO going towards the line, can't get in there, get up and go, bit of excitement down that end of the park, can they get out there, can they, little grubber kick through, and it's taken by the, uh, the winger for uh, Glenora, and tackled there, Brown with the ball comes out, comes out towards the 10 metre mark, Come away again, it's number two, that's uh, Lua Ferraglio. Maris, uh, Maris penalised again there. 13 is the man, says the referee. Ball goes in touch on the left hand side, about uh, 57 metres out from their own try line. 13 and a quarter minutes gone here at uh, at Harold Moody Park with the um, home side leading by six points to nil. I yeah, was pleased to see that the kick from uh, Phil Kingy, the 150 game man, has uh, kicked his team in front to make them six nil. So, um, Kavaliku takes the ball up, a metre short of halfway. They come right hand side to uh, Bernard. Bernard's uh, tackled seven, eight metres inside the um, Marist half into dummy half goes Levi. Levi flicks it out to the right hand side, gets it out to um, Vasu Vulagi. Goes out left hand, right hand side now to Ioka. Ioka goes to Rangi. Rangi goes towards the line. He's uh, getting close there, but he's brought down. They're going for the corner there. Kingy with the ball, puts it out to number four. Brown goes over. Brown's in to score. Chaz Brown's in to score. His, his first try for the game. He made the pass for that last try in the game, but uh, the try before, but uh, he's uh, made it himself this time. Yep, so there we have it. They go ahead by uh, 10 points to nil with Chad Brown and try. And 14, 14 minutes gone in this uh, first half at uh, Harold Moody Park in this uh, Fox Premiership game. It's to see that we've got followers, um, not just for Pete's Farm, but for Auckland Rugby League. The, uh, there's people in Australia, uh, Anita McKinnon-Smith and family, the Walker family in Australia, there's families in, in Rarotonga, Samoa, England and South Africa, all watching uh, these games either live on, uh, on live streaming or they're watching Pete's Farm in the uh, delayed broadcast game. So that's really interesting to see that they, uh, people are keen throughout the world on our Auckland Rugby League local competition, grassroots football. Phil Kingy to come in and uh, kick now. Missed that time. Touches right on the ball there. So it's uh, it's 10 points to nil. Uh, yeah, 10 points to nil after uh, 15 gone here at uh, Harold Moody Park. Kahibu to kick off for uh, for Marist. I need to get some possession to get up that over in the park at the moment, for, uh, Marist. And uh, ball taken by King. He gets it out to his uh, man. That's the winger coming in now. They come right hand side again to uh, Kavaliku. Kavaliku takes it up the middle of the park. Strong man, he's been around for a while at for Glenora. Good, uh, loyal uh, Glenora man. They come out right hand side, inside pass to uh, Bernard. Bernard takes it in there, and it's, uh, Glenora's uh, Maris penalised there. <laughs> The man that's been told, I hope he tells his team. So often in the game of rugby league you see the uh, referee talk to a player, the captain, and he goes back and he doesn't say a word. Well, that's the worst thing out. They uh, need to pass the message on to their players. It saves penalties, speeds the game up. That's what it's about. Good kick to the sideline by uh, Glenora there. It's 
Buchanan with the ball. No, it's not. He, he missed it. That's the Kingy. Kingy gets it out to the right hand side to Bernard. Bernard takes it through the middle of the park. He cuts it 80 metres inside the uh, Maris half. And the dummy half goes Levi. Levi gets it out to the right hand side to uh, Vasavu Lager. Lagi. Uh, and he takes the ball inside the. Uh, tw Inside the 20 now, they're going to the standoff. The stands it gets, standoff gets it out there. Nice bounce. Is yeah. it? Oh, no, he's out. Good call by the touch judge. The ball went out there. Touch judge in good position to see. Might be an older person, I will say. Being nice. Warren Clark, good guy. Okay, been in the rugby league for a lot of years, all his life. That's his wife Ruth. And she is as well. She's a good person for uh, for the Glenora Club. And you need people that are volunteers for, for clubs to uh, keep the game going. Maris to play the ball there on the uh, 20. Close to. They bring it out. Up the middle of the park. That was Siri, but bring it out, brought it out there. Goes out to uh, Akaola. Taken there by Buchanan. They're calling for a rip there. But, uh, Maxine got to the other touch judge there and doesn't say anything, so it can't have been happening. She was in a good position to see if it had been a top. There was a fair other touch motion. That's uh, good boy by, work by Mr. Clark. He, he was the one to ask because he was in the position to see. Whereas Maxine Godinow on the other side, she would have backs would have been towards her. Whereas. Uh, Warren Clark on this side would have seen it. So good call by the referees, keeps the game flying. Maris with a ball at uh, number, that's Williams to take the tap. They take the ball up towards the uh, 40 metre mark. Comes out to um, CO, CO goes up, and gets a five metres short of the halfway line. They go right hand side with uh, number 10 at, um, Mario, he'll get up and play a bit extra, put it in there. Number 14 gets the ball out to his right hand side to his standoff. Marist on attack. Can they go get another, get a try? This is what the story is. It's a catch up football. But number eight there with the ball, that's uh, Akala Ola. There's the two brothers in the team now. So, uh, makes it difficult. No. Seven puts the ball in the air. Oh, nicely taken by. Uh, Lua Filalio, that for uh, Glenora, he comes, runs it in infield. He gets a man now six. He loses the ball, but uh, Maris was in the ruck. He says so. Uh, it's a penalty. So uh, get out of jail if we card that one. Right over the top of the concrete box there, right on the halfway line. So uh, it's a good work. All right. He tapped it uh, to Ifua. To Ifua takes it up uh, seven metres inside the uh, Marist half. Into dummy half goes Levi. Levi gets it out to the right hand side to uh, Faramani. Faramani takes the ball and it's, uh, he loses the ball in the tackle. And Marist come away with it. Marist 13 with the ball. They come away this time. Big boy coming through now. It's uh, number eight, which is uh, a cola. A cola. Fought in with the ball now. Gets it out to his right hand side. It was white. I should remember that name. Black and white. We go to number 14 again. It's uh, his dummy half. Go oh, on, 13. Why oh, asleep there? Running through. Closest man to the ruck there. <coughs> and fell asleep on the way through, number 13. And that was uh, <coughs> CO. So, uh, Captain wouldn't be very really happy with him, so neither with the coach, Zane Poppington on the sideline. So.
So Glenora to feed the scrum. 23 gone here at uh, Harold Moody Park with a score at 10 nil to the home side, Glenora. Props trying to strike, they've never been able to strike, you know, so good call by the referee. Run through by number six, he put the ball up in the air and it's luckily number three coming through was uh, Tui Fua. Tui Fua's got it right on the halfway line. He'll get up and play the ball. A little bit of trip there by number nine, Levi. Levi uh, gets the ball out to his left-hand side and it's uh, they've got it nine metres inside the Marist half. Levi into dummy half again. Gets it out to... Um, Bernard, Bernard takes it through, that's uh, Chaz Bernard, <coughs> and then loses it, and he's rather peeved off, so he kicks the ball miles away, so you know, in the old days, they used to turn around and blow a penalty, they don't kick it again, so, <laughs> never mind, rules have changed over the years, keep up with play, that's what it's about. So it'll be a Maris feed to the scrum, and it'll be uh, Kahiva to feed the scrum, I think it is. Yes, it is. He's coming around. Kahiva feeds the scrum. It goes out the right-hand side to uh, Williams. Williams takes it up the middle of the park, and he's brought down 25 metres short of the, lo the halfway. <coughs> it goes through with... Uh, Leilua, Leilua uh, takes it up and he's brought down 90 metres short of the halfway. It's 13 again, that's Co. Co loses the ball in the tackle there. He's looking at the referee. But a bit of loose ball there, fellas, and uh, you've just got to hang on to it. Possession's nine points of the game, so that's what it's all about. Let the scrum, 12 metres inside the Marist half, and it'll be a full king uh, feed to the scrum. They get it out to the right hand side, looking for that long pass out there to the winger to uh, Lua Filalio. Lua Filalio, he slips over there. He would try to cut inside, but his feet went from underneath him just like a landslide. Number one is that's Rangi, Rangi into dummy half. He gets it out the left hand side to number three, which is uh, Tui Fua. Tui Fua takes it towards the line. He's going to be brought down 10 metres short of the line now. Into dummy half goes Levi. Levi has a quick blow it and goes out to Chas Bernard. Chas Bernard going towards the line. Didn't, like he didn't flip over there. He's a long line of the law. He might have uh, been able to get, score the try. Into dummy half goes Levi again. Coming away with it now, there's still a hot on attack now, they're leading by uh, 10 points to nil. Looking and turning, looking and turning, fe feeding off anyway, kinging out to the oh. winger. The winger couldn't take the ball, so Maris number two has dived on it, Lua Filalio. And uh, he'll get up and it'll be a scrum feed to the Mar uh, Maris side. 26 gone here, 14 minutes till half time. Some of the guys out there looking for a breather I think, but uh, it's an 80 minute game fellas. Pokey Parkinson, the referee, one of the uh, top referees in New Zealand, and uh, I'm not sure where he comes from, he's from down south, I think. So, uh, he's refereeing up here most weeks, I think. And Maris with the ball, but being dra dragged, pushed back by the defence of uh, Glenora. Kahiva with the ball, gets it out to his left hand side. Go right hand side again. The fence holding out for Glenora and they're pushing them back each each tackle. Get two and three men on a tackle. Well, this is a ploy that they've been uh, been coached by Tony Benson. They go right hand side inside the 40. They're all taken by the fullback for um, Rangi for uh, Glenora. He's going to be brought down just inside his. Uh, Inside the Marist half to get up and play it, and dummy half was uh, Ioka. 
he gets it away to uh, the winger, uh, Ezra. Ezra takes it up the middle. He's gone 15 metres into the uh, Marist half now. 27 minutes gone here. Out to big number 10, which is Vasu Bulaga. Lagi. <coughs> Vasu Bulagi. Get it right, Pete. Come right hand side again to the to the standoff. Ball goes to the ground. And on. It's number two with the ball, and he's uh, had to play the ball there. He's Nua Falelio. He'll get up and play the ball into dummy half. Goes Tui Fur. Tui Fur gets it out to his second row to Fiamani. Fiamani out to the hooker, and that goes to 13. Chas Bernard. Maris come away with it. Was there an advantage in that? Maybe there is. He's got it now, and it's 12. It's uh, Leilua. Leilua gets up and plays the ball for Maris. They go right to the left hand side, and that's big uh, Aakula. Aakula. I'll get that pronunciation right. It takes me 80 minutes. Get it right now. It's number four. Ilu, Ilui gets up and plays the ball. Kahiva, Kahiva has a little run. He throws a dummy, has a little run. Gets it 15 metres inside the uh, general half. They need to score soon. They need to score in this first half. 28 minutes gone in this uh, first half. Okay. Number 12 for the ball now, Le Lua. Le Lua come, comes up with the ball and uh, he's tackled uh, 30 metres out, 25 metres out from the line now. They come left hand side again, Maris. Him lost in the middle there, number 14 with the ball, that's White, John Paul White, and he's uh, not quite sure who's setting up the play. There's six in the, the play there, Kahiva picks the ball up, puts the ball in the air, taken nicely by uh, Lua Falelio, he'll uh, play the ball about five metres short of his own goal line, that was one the fullback rang the, uh, the ball comes out there, somebody's hurt there, if Maris pick up the ball, they're not going to... man's game they say and somebody's been hit pretty hard there we'll have a look at it later so Glenroy are running it out there they lost the ball forward so uh, yep, they're both happy so that's alright the referee and touch those so <laughs> the poor guy getting off the ground he's not happy <laughs> He said, I got hit pretty hard there. Uh, uh, it is a hard physical game and it's um, you got to take the knocks. The fitter you are, the better you can cope with them. So uh, some of the players, and of course in the COVID uh, situation over the last two years, um, lots of teams had trouble um, uh, getting trainings and that. And uh, they should be out there in their own training if they're going to play top side for a club or want to be in the top side for a club. They should be out there training the roads or whatever when they can. Put a mask on and go for it. Uh, not really nice to see that the alcohol on the sidelines. We don't like that in rugby league and. Uh, very hard for the clubs to patrol that sort of thing. They're not policemen, of course, but um, these guys think, you know, if they, if they really want to watch football, they can go home and watch it and watch the delayed broadcast later on and have their beer in their hand as much as they like. So uh, it's going to be a scrum. It's going to be a scrum feat to uh, Maris. Pat's on the shell, Pat's on the arm, all friends in there. And it's good to see. Game has cleaned up a lot over the last few years, and uh, what are we waiting for now? I'm not quite sure. That's 31 gone, and uh, I'm going to stop my clock, I suppose. As I said before, I hope this, the sound is coming across, the referee's sound, and. Uh, my commentary is coming across onto the, uh, the camera so that it goes on YouTube uh, later tonight. This game will be on by hopefully by 10 o'clock tonight. The reserve grade goes on either straight after, it depends uh, what time I go to bed, um, otherwise it's tomorrow. And we're lucky in league at the moment. We have three games a weekend that you can uh, look up YouTube on uh, the ARL TV. Uh, their channel or the Pete's filming channel and uh, see two games so uh, 
Okay, he will feed the scum for uh, for Maris, and they take it to the right hand side, out to big number six, it takes it into number 12, and number 12 takes it through, that's Le Lua. Le Lua, Lua gets up, you know, playing the ball, and White goes into dummy half, big number eight coming through, and that's uh, Aka Ola. Aka Ola comes again, goes out to number 13, he thinks he can go through, 11 goes through, nice little gap there. Good and brings it in closer and that's 11 goes in, Yuli, Yuli, uh, Anthony Yuli takes it in for Maris and Maris first on the board, first time on the board today, took them 32 minutes but they're there now, so uh, four points on the board for uh, Yuli, Anthony Yuli, number 11 was the man that came through and uh, scored the try. About 32 minutes gone in this uh, first half. Kahiva to attempt the kick, and he shouldn't miss this one. Hope to be the commentator's curse, but you know, I've seen him kick before, and, and he doesn't miss many, especially this close. So, again, I just want to welcome the uh, followers in Australia and in the McKinnon Smith and family, the Walker family. Gold Coast and in Sydney and the rest of the people in like Tonga, England and so on. And it's lovely to see that they can watch uh, uh, grass, grand, grassroots rugby league overseas. Comes in, down the middle it goes, so six points on the board, so they're only trailing by four. So 10-6 to uh, Glenora, the home side, after uh, 33 minutes gone in this first half. Kingy kicks off for um, Glenora, taken by Kahiva, the kicker of the ball there. Oh, slipped right into that. But he gets up. Good man. That was 16. That was uh, Nimia. Now still in possession of the ball, right in front of their own post. Ooh, the defence up real quick for Glenora. They've been training hard on the defensive side. Fourteen comes away with the ball. That's uh, White again. Gets up and plays the ball. Goes right hand side. Number twelve. That's uh, Lay Lua. Lay Lua takes it up to the thirty metre mark. Oh, nicely taken by the winger out there. Maris, the uh, winger coming through, number two, that was uh, Manukau Powell. He didn't manage that. And then it's uh, Brown with the ball now. Chaz Brown takes it inside the uh, 40 for uh, Glenora. And his W half goes, uh, goes Tippins. And it's number five with the ball now, Ezra. Ezra takes it. Takes it up, they're about 12 metres inside the uh, Marist half with about 35 minutes gone here, five to go to half time, have a rest. That's 17 with the ball now, that's Fagupo. Fagupo and uh, comes away, Marist lose the ball. Marist can come away with the ball, it was lost there by Glenora. They come up, they get up and play the ball, Kahiva. And Kahiva with the ball there, loses the ball out the back there, number 11, that's uh, Yuli. He's a try scorer for Marist, and uh, I suppose he's hoping he wouldn't do that again. <laughs> he's got a good try, but then the loose play there, he should have been. Ball security is the answer here today. The ball's, the ball's a little bit slippery because the grass has got a lot of water on it. You can't see it because it's in pretty good condition. No, so be I Ioka to. Uh, Put the ball in the scrum for Glenora, taken off the back by 14, which was um, Tippins. They go left hand side to Rangi. Rangi's got the ball 15 metres inside the uh, Marist half. Kingy with the ball gets it out to the right hand side to uh, Bernard. Bernard takes it through to the 30 metre mark. 
come right again was uh, Philip Kingy. Oh, the pass that went out the back door, and he uh, wasn't sure where it was going. It was a bit hard, Phil. Never mind. The man coming through got the ball, so that's what it's all about. He rang to play it uh, to uh, pass the ball. Yeah. And uh, Glenn will take it up. Still with the ball now, into dummy half, goes Tippins, Tippins brings it right hand side, goes out to big number 10, which is um, Vasavulagi. Vasavulagi going towards the line. And the number, Louis Filelio takes it out, takes it, ball comes across, it's kicked, and who's taking it now? It's gone dead. Missed that, it was a kick, rubber kick across the park there, and uh, Maris come away with it. At the 20, and a quick tap. Tip into the, uh, the tackle there. Goes out to Mimia. Your fault, Mo. Everybody has that chairs, chairs. <laughs> so we know who was there. <laughs> and he carries it on. Manukau Power was the man that copped it then, and uh, only one player to talk to. And, uh, <laughs> chairs knows who. It was a high tackle. It's about 38 gone in this uh, first half with a score at 10 6 to uh, the home side, Glenora. Number three with the ball now, that's um, Williams, and Williams takes it up five metres short of the halfway line. They come across the park to the standoff. That was uh, CO, and that's uh, number eight, Akala. Ola. They take it right again. And that's the Leilua. Leilua takes it inside the half. The camera will keep up with play, I wouldn't mind. Here we go now, number eight. Again, Aka Ola. He plays the ball. They go right hand side, and it's 14. White kicks the ball forward, bounces inside to uh, number five, and number Ezra. Ezra takes it up for Glenora. Runs himself a little bit out of trouble. Off the mark, says the referee. Uh, they probably need more hearing aids, I should say. Never mind. Come away with Buchanan. Buchanan uh, takes it up the left-hand side of the park there. Uh, Tippins into dummy half. Tippins, no it wasn't, it was for Kingy. And then the ball comes out to number two, which is uh, Lua Filalio. He's brought down. Zero tackle. And Twelve for the ball now, that's uh, Fayamani. Fayamani uh, takes it up. Makes some metres out of Kingy into dummy, and Tippins into dummy half. Here we go with number 16, it's Samson. Samson uh, gets up and plays the ball, tippins it, dummy half, inside, gets the ball. Inside. Ball travelling towards the uh, dead ball line, it's not going to make it, or the sideline, and it's Siri with the ball. Siri must hang on to the ball now, he's back there by himself. So it's into dummy half goes CO. CO gets it out to his left hand side. He gets it out in a hard tackle there for number. Palomo goes out to Siri again. Siri comes through the middle of the park. <clears throat> they go right inside with uh, CO. Kahiva. Kahiva kicks it through and it's taken nicely by Rangi. Rangi comes out the middle of the park there. Ooh, and he missed that. Missed the, missed the tackle and he's tripped over his feet. Comes out left hand side again to number five. It's uh, Ezra. Ezra goes in hard. He races hard up the paddock there. He gets it inside the. Uh, 
into the Marist half, Tippins into Dummy half. What's he going to do with it? It's going to go left hand side out to uh, Nurfalalio. Nurfalalio takes it up 15 metres, 12 metres inside. It's going to be a penalty. 11 is going to be penalised. That's Uli. He said, I just want to slow the play, but play down riff, you know, it's getting too fast for me. <laughs> it's a ploy. We don't know whether it's true or not. So we're coming up uh, half time here at uh, Mount uh, Harold Moody Park. Score at uh, 10 points to 6 to uh, Glen Royal. The home side goes in with. Uh, but Fiamani, Fiamani uh, takes the ball in for Glenora, goes up towards the, uh, past the 20, goes out to begin with 16, Samson, Samson runs towards the line, going again, still going again, stretches out, goes over, rolls on his left hand side, plants his left hand on the ball and uh, scores the try, so there we have it, just before half time, 16, Samson running a good run through, pushes off one tackle, gets through the next one and the next one just sort of let, let him let, reach out and go over the line, so a nice try scored by uh, him. 16, Samson. <laughs> Must be about 39 minutes gone now. Mine's uh, gone over it, but didn't stop it for one of the um, injuries. Seven to attempt to kick. Oh, geez. Philip King comes in. No, he's gone to the left hand side. He won't be pleased about that one because it wasn't a hard kick for him. He's a much better kicker than that, especially on his 150th game here at, uh, at his home ground, uh, Harold Moody Park. So they lead by uh, 14 points to 6. Kohiba to uh, kick off for... Um, For Marist, goes, big long kick down there for the winger to take nice and easy, Ezra, Ezra will get up and play the ball, Lenora putting themselves on attack from inside their own half ground, Buchanan with the ball now comes through and He's taken uh, on the 40 metre mark. King of the W half goes out left hand side, goes out to uh, Fangupo. Fangupo will get up and play the ball two metres inside his own half. Tippins out it goes to the right hand side. The tackle's going to be the last, so it's an entertaining game of football. Maris playing to the to their ability at the moment, but they need to come back in the second half and score some tries. So. Uh, Glenora uh, is leading by three tries to one. They're leading 14 points to six with the uh, half time hooter going. So we'll be back after half time for the second half. We're back here for the second half an hour of this uh, game between uh, Glenora Bears and Mara Saint and the Fox. Underway now with Glenora kicking off from right to left. Ball goes deep there to uh, Siri. Siri uh, straps it with his foot, gets out to his bigger man coming through, and it's, uh, I guess, number eight, that's right. That's uh, Akaola. Akaola will uh, get up and play the ball inside their uh, 30. Comes away with number six, so it's CO. CO gets up. It wasn't CO at all. Okay. There it goes. Good play to. Going backwards, Siri's going to straighten up, go through the middle, Siri, good little player, Siri, I've seen him a few times in the last couple of years and he's, um, <laughs> a ploy there by Chaz Bernard, I think, just uh, hanging on to the ankle, so, uh, Maris come away with it now and uh, Kahiva kicks it down, deep down that left hand side, it was outside the 40, so, uh, 
and it'll be uh, Rangi that uh, takes it over the edge of the bank there. You notice that this park is all drained from the centre to the uh, to the sidelines and dead ball line. So uh, quite a nice park to play on for the players. Most of them like it. It's uh, Lua Falelio takes it up the middle and he uh, brings it up to the 31 metres out from the try line. Tippins into dummy half, gets it away to the right hand side to uh, Van Gupo. Van Gupo takes it up, he's nine metres short of the halfway line. They come left hand side there to uh, Ches Bernard. Ches Bernard takes it and flicks it out the back with the offload there. Good little offload, gets it out to uh, I think it's number Sampson. No, nope, it's not. <clears throat> Comes out left hand side to Kingy. Kingy to Buchanan. Buchanan through the middle there. <clears throat> Gets up and plays the ball. King goes out, tippins out to Kingy. Kingy puts the ball out through there on the left hand side and Siri back for it. Ooh, it's a bit high. Yep, he's got him. Got him for high. You just wanted to see if there's any advantage. No, it wasn't your chairs, don't worry. Bit hard. The guy's trying to take the penalty kick, and he's got players all around him, all offside, that's coming onto the paddock. So it's a bit hard for him. Ball kicked into touch now by Maris, and they'll take it up to the two and a half minutes gone in the second half of this uh, Fox Memorial game here at uh, Harold Moody Park. That hurt. You get up and play the ball. He says no, it didn't. That's uh, Williams. Goes out left hand side. Maris trying to get out of their own uh, own half. Play on, says Mac Parky Parkinson. You know, because, uh, of course, I think it was a, uh, a part shoulder charge, so 17's been penalised there. That's uh, Van Gupo. Took too long to get off. CO to uh, take that kick. Goes to Williams. Williams into uh, Leilua. Leilua take it up the middle of the park. He only makes the 10 metres. Buchanan holding him back. Goes out left hand side. Goes out to number 10. It's um, uh, Falua Malio. They go left again, it's uh, 13 out to uh, Kohiva, Kohiva out to Siri, Siri uh, takes it to the left hand side, tries to straighten up there, can't get it through the middle there, gets into dummy half is Kohiva, he takes it out to um, Uli, Uli, and Uli get up and play the ball. Does well. Goes with number 14. That's White. White going through. Is he going to make it? No, he's not going to make it. He's three metres short. They come right hand side. They're going right hand side. Oh, quick off the mark. Number Chess Brown. Ball comes out. Flicked out there. And it's uh, gone to Glen Aura. Chess Brown breaking that line pretty quick. I didn't think he was that fast. But maybe he is. You'll tell me after. Next week. He, go, he lost the ball. And... Uh, <laughs> Everybody's waiting for it to be knocked down, and I don't think, who knows. Glen Rorick come away with it. The referee's got to be right. Number two with the ball, that's uh, Lua Falalio. <laughs> he get up and play the ball. They'll go right. That's 16 Sampson, was it? Yeah, takes out. Go right-hand side to uh, Barnard. Barnard. Bernard takes it out to the right, he brings it up the middle, he's 22 metres short of the halfway line at this stage. They go right hand side again, six for the, for the kick, that's uh, Ioka. Ioka kicks it out to uh, the, down that right hand side and uh, number one Siri, Siri back there gets it. The rest of his team are struggling to get back there, the other guys, you know, Siri's there, nobody else following him. Now number five comes into it and that's uh, Palamo, Palamo is... Uh, Oh, Palamo, sorry. We'll get up and play it. <laughs> Seven, Phil Kingy. Who me? Yeah, 
the medical court fell you off. <laughs> Never mind. There goes out that left hand side. So Maris, can they bring us some attack into this half now? Into the Glenora half. It uh, comes out to uh, Yuli. Yuli uh, takes it towards the uh, 30 metre mark. He's going to be brought down. Into dummy half goes um, Kahiva. Kahiva takes it out to the big man, number late. So it was like that. No, it's not. Comes out again. Kahiva takes the ball through the middle there himself. White with the ball. White getting through. He set up the first try that they scored. He's going for a second. And he set it up. Oh, and they lose the ball. The silly mistakes that they drop them in cr crucial stages, about three metres from the line, and they drop the ball. Those are the sort of mistakes coaches get really upset about. You know, you're on attack, you don't make a mistake like that. So we'll have some sound then again, whether the sound or not coming to the... Uh, to the microphone's not sure. We'll find out later on tonight. When, we try and, when I try and load it, upload to uh, YouTube. Glenora bring it out now from their own. They're uh, seven and a half minutes into this f second half here. They're leading by 14 points to six. Come out again and it's uh, Brown. Brown with a skip and a jump. He used to have that skip and a jump off the Pat gets up and plays the ball this time and Buchanan takes the ball up the middle of the park. Makes some good metres when he when he does do the carry. He gets up and plays it. Goes out the back to Sampson. Sampson takes it up in the middle. He's brought down on the uh, 10 metre mark, the 40 metre mark inside their own half. They're going left hand side to uh, uh, Bernard. Bernard is tackled four metres, three metres short of the line. They go right again. A nice little stab kick by number six, that's uh, Ioka. And then it's a draw, draw on the um, knock on for number five there, Palomo. Palomo, Zagil Palomo drops the ball forward. He didn't have to panic, there was nobody within 10 metres of him. He only had to stop the ball with his foot or something and pick it up and go. But he's, uh, but never mind, mistakes happen and uh, it just can be quite costly. So hopefully for his sake that uh, that Glenora don't score off this uh, little mistake. So we're on the ball now with um, Tippins to feed. Not sure who it is that's feeding the scum this time. No, it can't be. Going out to Kingy, Kingy has a little spurt there, gets it out to uh, Rangy, Rangy goes through, going towards the line, can he get it down, he's going there, he's close. Chez Brown sees that white line over there and thinks that's my try line, I'm going for it, but he just missed out again this time, he'll have to get up and play the ball. Here he goes for the dummy. Can't get it down. He's short. Couldn't get it down to the bottom, to the ground anyway. And uh, the offload out the back. Chaz Brown again going towards the line. He's been rolled onto his back. So it's uh, Bernard in the dummy half. What's he got up his sleeve? He goes to the right hand side. An inside pass. Big boy coming through. Samson was it? No. It's fifth and five. Last tackle. Come away with it. They're going out to the uh, right. A little grubber kicks through. Who's going to get it first? It's going to be the Maris player. Took him off the ball, the referee says. It was a good little kick through. Who knows? We'll go again. Nine into dummy half. Gets it out to Bernard. Bernard going towards the line. Look out for the offload. He's looking for it. 
He's still got hold of it. It's coming left hand side to Kingy. Kingy gets it out to Brown. Brown goes towards the line. Is he can he roll over and score it? Not this time. Held up, tackle three. Taz Brown will have to come back to the ten. Play it. Goes out right inside of Kingy, Kingy onto um, Bernard, Bernard straightens up on the inside and goes towards the line, can't make it through, 17 to Fangupo to be dummy half, it goes out to Kingy, out to, uh, out to the fullback, the fullback's looking towards the line, Rangy it is going towards the line, he can't get it down, defence holding out from Marist over there, right hand side there, they go right hand side again. Long pass out and a dive through, but I think he's lost the ball in the meantime, yeah. The dive, nice dive, but the ball came free. If he had the ball in the right arm, in his palm, he would have got it, I would say. Siri with the ball for uh, Maris with the first hit up. Fullback shouldn't take the first up. He is. Goes out the left hand side. Maris with the ball. Cohiba passed it out to his centre. Now flick out to uh, Inner Powell. Flicks it back inside. Goes to number three. Three takes it in. That's Williams. Williams takes it up the middle. Poor oh, Manica Powell there, just about driven underneath the uh, commentary box there. Comes out right at left hand side, that was 22 that passed the ball, haven't got his name. Out to 13, which is CO. CO gets up and plays the ball, goes to the right hand side. Uh, six it is CO, uh, his brother kicks it down that right hand side. Is it going to go dead? Looks like it is. Yeah, it's too far. It's a 20 metre restart to uh, Glenora, gets himself on attack. So, uh, 13 minutes gone here at uh, Harold Moody Park with a score at 14 points to 6 to the home side. We go right hand side out to the big boy out there. It's uh, 10. Um, it's Vasu Vilaga. Luggy. Sorry. They come left. Bring it to the centre. And that's uh, Vaimani. Vaimani will uh, take the ball to the uh, nearly towards the halfway line. They come out left again. Left David. Left David. And that's Van Kupo. They go right hand side. Goes up to, back to his right, sorry. Into dummy half goes Levi, and they've lost the ball. Left, left, 16 left. Samson is, loses the ball. No, he's arguing. So it'll be a scrum. It'll be a scrum feed to Marist, and it'll be um, a CO, Lewis CO, to uh, feed the scrum this time. 14 and a half gone at uh, Harold Moody Park. Into the back of the scrum goes uh, Macau Powell. Oh, well, Winger's going to the back of the scrum. Unless he's going to pick up the ball and run. Maybe, maybe he is. No, he's not. He's going to pass. Kahiva, Kahiva, the halfback. He gets it out. To, goes up the left hand side and he's brought down. 11 metres short of the halfway now. Comes out big number 22. He takes it up the centre and he's brought down 5 metres short of the halfway line. The dummy half goes uh, 11. Boop. 10 it is with the ball, that's uh, for, for Lua Malio. He takes the ball a couple of metres inside the uh, Glenora half. They go left hand side again to number 11. Nice little run through there, but it's forward. Called forward by the referee. Look good from here, but uh, can't be. Must be forward. He's closer than we are. A bit of a different angle. So things have gone a bit quiet here at uh, Harold Moody Park at the moment, with the score being 14 points to 6. No points in the second half at this stage, 15 and a half minutes into the second half. They're coming left. 
you know, get up and play the ball. It's Buchanan's got the ball now. He runs up the centre of the park and he's going to be brought down inside the uh, 40. Goes to uh, Tippins. No, oh, no, that's not Tippins, that's Bernard, sorry. Bernard with the ball now. He'll have to get up and play it. Gets out, number 17, a big hit on number 17 on Van Gupo. He took it, but he took it. We have to get up and play it. Hanging on, a bit of hanging on there, a bit of hanging on. And everybody rushes in, we don't need that. Silly play, got to get out of there. It was a good hit on the uh, player. A good hit on Van Gupo by the uh, Maris player, but then it's been carried on a little bit. So there's the having cuddles, loves and uh, kisses and all that sort of jazz while well, they get on with the game soon. Cool, let's go back door. Go back there. Going across to uh, Mr. Clark and uh, see what Mr. Clark can see from the sideline with uh, somebody started something that shouldn't have happened. And uh, Mr. Clark's got pretty sharp eyes and uh, he'll probably pick up the right player. Going to be a penalty against Marist. Not far out, Phil. <laughs> the referee's ruled, and so many players run in, that's very hard to pick up what uh, happened. They shouldn't run in to start, but here we go now. It's um, you know, in possession of the ball. It's a penalty against uh, against Maris for holding down, working him over, which is fair enough. So we carry on now. Goes out the left hand side to Kingy. Kingy gets it out to uh, Rangy. Rangy out to the to Brown. Brown straightens up. Tries to go through a gap. Three men there to tackle him. They know he's quite strong. We go right hand side to uh, Cavalico. Cavalico out to uh, Bernard. Bernard be locked up, but he didn't. Get, he got it away there. Cavalico puts puts a little kick through. What's he going to do? And it's going to be knocked on by Glenora. They're closer than we are, but uh, that was obviously touched by Marist that put it over dead. So uh, we saw it different from this end. Well, I did. Not we, it's only me. But I'm about 70 metres away. Kahiva to uh, take the goal line drop out. Going deep, 50 metre kick there, and number six takes it, Ioka. Ioka takes it nicely. Kavaliku takes it up the middle of the park. He takes it 15 metres inside the uh, inside the Marist half. They go right hand side again to Ioka. Ioka feeds it on. He's a bigger man to the uh, forward coming through. They come out left hand side now. Kingy in, inside pass to uh, Bernard. Bernard takes it through. And the dummy half goes uh, Levi, gets it out to Kingy. Kingy passes out to the fullback Rangy, and Buchanan, Buchanan drops the ball. You, um, Maris come up with it. Buchanan couldn't take the pass then. Comes away now, and it's a uh, little winger, Manukau Powell. 
They go left hand side. It's Siri, the fullback, that comes in. He's a little worker, old Siri. And he goes, passes it out to Manukau Powell. He's taken in a tackle 30 metres off their own line. He gets rid of one tackle, he can't get rid of the next one. Goes out to 22, big 22 comes through and he's uh, copped a bit on the... Uh, must have thought it was on the shoulder. Kohiva puts it down to the left hand side there. Not good enough really because they had somebody back there. The uh, Lurfalalio is that back there and he's uh, brought it up two metres short of the halfway line. They get up and play the ball, Glenora. They take it up over the halfway line. Kavaliku uh, takes it up inside the uh, Marist half. Into dummy half goes uh, two, I think it was. Buchanan with the ball now. Buchanan takes it up the middle and he's uh, brought down 30 metres off the line now. Nine to dump Levi it was. Levi gets it out to uh, Bernard. Bernard gets it to the standoff to Ioka. Ioka gets it out to the winger to uh, the centre. That's um, Tuifu, Tua, <laughs> Tufuya. Comes left hand side. Six puts it up in there, that's Ioka. It's taken by it's taken by Marist and knocked on. Ten metre penalty. Good call from the touchy there. Uh, there are a few problems with the communication gear today that the uh, one touch does hasn't got his communication gear. Well he hasn't got a set apparently, I believe. So it's uh, a bit hard. He can. Uh, he's loud enough to talk, but uh, Kohiva takes it into touch. Yes, it makes it into touch down here by the uh, touch studs there on the 20. They go left hand side, Marist, and uh, trying to straighten it up. That's um, Leilua. Leilua will get up and play the ball. Takes a bit of interference there by number nine. The referee's called it, he had to try and get up and play the ball. He's more interested in the guy that was interfering with him. And probably, if he'd have played the ball correctly, he probably would have got the penalty his way. Now they've lost the ball and it's a kingy defeat for um, Glenora. Rubber the green, that's what it's about. King to feed the scrum. He's had quite a good game, Phil King. He's 150th game for the club. Goes out to Ioka. Ioka uh, is uh, going to be tackled 25 metres out from the line. Goes out to the right hand side to. Um, Fomano, Mani. Fomani will get up and play the ball. They're up on the 20 now. And it's, uh, Bernard crashes through the middle of the park there and can't get through. He's trying. No points for trying. Well, there is, but Kavaliku. <laughs> Kavaliku is held up. Uh, he's a big man. He wasn't running at full pace there like he used to run. Uh, if he'd have been running at full pace, then it wouldn't have stopped him, wouldn't have touched him at all. So. Uh, He's running back now for the 10 metres. They go right hand side to Bernard. Bernard misses a man out there, goes out to Ioka. Ioka out to uh, the winger, Lua Filalio. Lua Filalio will uh, get up and play the ball a few metres short of the, the try line. Comes out, a little grubber kick through, and it's picked, yeah, picked up nicely by uh, number 12, which is uh, David Leilua. He's a man that lost that ball in the tackle before, and he could have got up and played the ball. He would have been all right. It's number 12 for the ball now. That's it, it's him again. <laughs> Maris come away with it now, trying to get themselves out of trouble there. They need a sort of a get out of drill free card or something because they're um, they're trading by 14 points to six. This is eight points, so they must score twice to win this game. So uh, number nine will get up and play the ball. That's um, a koala. Go left hand side again to Siri. Siri uh, gets the ball. High tackle there. Not 
not too dangerous, but it's uh, high. You contact the neck or the, the head, and it's, um, it's the neck is part of the head, and it's going to be a penalty. Cohiba to uh, take a kick to the line. A bit of wind still out here at um, Aramudi Park. Four with the ball, he's going to get it on to Uli. Uli's uh, going to go straight for it. He goes straight for the little fella, but uh, he bounced off. He'll get up and play the ball on the uh, 40 inside uh, Glen or a half. going for himself. Nobody with him. Nobody with him. Now they have on the left hand side. They go in, and number four's got it. Nobody with him. He must have traveled 25 meters by himself. They, uh, Kauhiva, and then he passed the ball to the left hand side to number four coming through, which was uh, Ilui. So a nice try scored by Ilui, number four. Set up by Kauhiva, number seven. And, uh, but he was looking for somebody to back him up, and there's nobody there except uh, number four came through, uh, Ilui. So 25 minutes into the second half, they score their first points. And that's the first points of, of the second half. Neither, neither team has scored a try or anything in the second half at all, so that makes it 14 points to 10. Only four points the difference now. So need this kick, Kauhiva. Need this kick and they need uh, another try. If they wish to win. And that's what it's all about. You've got to have the will to win when you're playing. If you don't think you're going to win, you're not going to win. So, uh, and that was started off by Kohiva, the, the kicker. He uh, made the break, made the break through. He must have broken through five different players there and then had to pass it. And luckily, number four, the uh, Tuia uh, Ilu, came through and scored the try for him, for the team. Can he kick this over? Can he put this two points in the, on the board? Can he make it a difference if only... He has a good kick there. Man to set the try, kicks the goal as well. So uh, a nice kick by... Uh, Kohiva. <laughs> 14 points to 12. Two points to difference now. We'll just give um, Glenora the spark to, they've got to finish this off, or will we give them the spark, Maris the spark to uh, come back and, uh, and win this game, snatch it off the Glenora Bears. 27 minutes, eight minutes gone, about 13 minutes left to go in this game. It's 10 with the ball, that's um, Billy Lua Malio. He goes away now. Put him into touch. It's too small to break through there. Hand over. So he thought, thought there's a front row forward there and he could maybe break, break his way through, but he should have been going to the ground. Head down and go to him. Been hard to play the ball. Bernard to play the ball, comes out left hand side to uh, Kavaliku, Kavaliku goes through, he's been around for a lot of years at Glenora, done a lot of good and now Maris been penalised, why would you rip the ball out then? Ten, was the Feli Lua Malio was the man that's fault at that stage, hope it doesn't come to bite him. Kavaliku goes through with the ball now, he takes it up the this to that right hand side there. They're about 20 metres out from the try line now. Can they score again? Well, Kingy with a ball. Kingy with a ball to Buchanan. Buchanan uh, takes the ball, backs into the uh, defence. Comes away and it's big number 10. It's um, Vasu Bulagi who came through and he's been tackled short of the line. Levi into dummy half, out to Kingy, Kingy out to uh, Ioka. The ball goes to ground, who's going to pick it up? It's gone through, kicked ahead by, uh, by Marist. 
I think it's a knock on. It is a knock on. You can hear the crowd on this side saying it's a knock on. They're about 50 metres away like I am, and uh, they're perhaps right, you know. So, lost it behind him, he says, so therefore it's a knock on. So, Maris come out with a possession now with a scrum with 29 minutes gone. Ten and a half minutes to go to full time, and two points of difference in the game. Maris uh, trading by 12 to 14. Now he would have feed the scum for it. No, he's not. He says, I'll go on the back of the scum and I'll get it going. And belief is the answer now. Do they believe they can win this game? No. Number six, that's uh, Sia. Lewis Sia, he'd be kicking himself. And kicking himself. He could, they had the chances there. Where the, the ball went their way from that tackle and the marathon. The, Glenora guy going backwards, knocked the ball forwards, so they had to scrum. He only had to take the ball and run with it, and uh, he's now put his, his team in a position where they, uh, they're um, <clears throat> Glenora only 40 minutes away, 40 metres away from the try line. So uh, Phil King, the 150 game man today, feeds the scrum, goes in, comes out. Phil thought he was going to take the ball there, but it's Bernard at that time. Kavalika, Kavaliku takes the ball. That's a good blockbusting run down the middle of the park for, for Kavaliku. And he's into the half goes uh, Levi. Levi gets out to Kingy. Inside pass to Buchanan. Buchanan lines up for the post. He can't. He's going to be brought short, 15 metres short of the try line. They go left and right hand side to Samson. Samson to, spins, turns, spins, turns, goes. Can he get over? No, he's brought down short. He died early. Kingy with the ball. Inside pass to Buchanan. Buchanan gets the ball and he's brought down. Last tackle called. He takes the red through. He sneaks through underneath. And is it number two or number five that scores that try? There he is, the man that scored the try. Sort of dummy to the right, sort of, and... Um, and and went underneath the uh, underneath the marker and uh, scored the try. So they're back in front again by eight points, not two. So that's their first try in the second half as well. So 32 minutes gone. Um, so it's Phil Kingy to. Uh, Kingy to attempt the conversion to put them eight points in front. That means that uh, Maris have got to score twice to beat them. With about eight minutes left, there is plenty of time. Time is of the essence, of course. Just to think this uh, young fella here, well, he is a young fella. Um, started here uh, when he was 11. And he's had a big career coaching and, uh, and playing. Comes in and kicks. Oh, bounce off the left hand post to the right. So, six points the difference here. It is possible for Maris to come back and uh, draw this game. The fool will be uh, kicking his soul. 18 12, General Lead and Maris here after 33 minutes gone. Seven minutes left. What can happen in this game? It's been a good tight game. Good long kick. Kingy back there to take that first uh, hit up. No, he's not going to take the hit up. I'll give it to somebody else. Good on him. Too little of that, Phil. Oh, look at Samson with the ball, isn't it? Yeah. They go away to the right hand side. Kavaliku comes through. Uh, a nice blockbusting run from him. He comes up towards the 30 metre mark. They go right hand side to Bernard. Bernard takes it up towards the, 10, the 40 metre mark. He's going to be brought down 10 metres short. Kavaliku, second hit up in this set of six. That's way to play. He's a great man with a big heart. And a big body. Nice little offload to Bernard. Bernard breaks out of one. 
goes to the second, can't get out of that one. He'll get up and play the ball. They go to the right hand side to Ioka. Ioka gets a, doesn't get the ball away at all. He just hangs on to it, takes a tackle. So Glenroy hot on attack now. Comes out the, uh, to Rangi. Rangi puts the ball on the boot. Comes off the, the post. Siri, can Siri get out of there? Siri, no, he can't get out of there. Yeah, that's right. He's got a big, big heart. Emmanuel Siri, he uh, goes to that left hand side, got out of the way from a couple of guys and then too far to run. So uh, they'll have to use the dropout. 35 gone here at uh, Harold Moody Park. Number 11's down there in the back play over there. Number 11 for uh, Maris, that's uh, Uli. He's the man that uh, scored their first try in the uh, 32nd minute of the first half. So. Uh, Up, up and away, they're going to take him off, number 11, that's um, Uli. And he's going to be coming back in, I wouldn't say, to play. They're taking to the sideline now. Maris will want to be up the other end of the park. They want to be 100 metres down the other end of the park in a minute. Can they do it? So he put the ball on the, on the ground and uh, Philip King might knock it on. No, he's not going to knock it on. He's wise. He plays it with his feet and goes forward. So Kavaliku goes through with the ball. Into dummy half goes um, Levi. <laughs> Levi has a little scoot from dummy half. Couldn't quite get through that gap. Closed up on him. Bernard with the ball. Bernard str struggling to go ahead towards the uh, try line there. He's about 10 metres away. We're going to come left hand side to Samson. Samson going to twist and turn, and no, he's not going to do it this time. He's going to have to play the ball right in front of the post into Ioka. Ioka gets out to the right hand side. That's Ioka there. It's Levi, sorry, and they come away. Come. They passed the ball to the wrong man there, and Rangi gets the ball. Rangi says, thanks very much, I've got a different colour jersey on. What are you doing passing to me? So he gets up, he gets up now and plays the ball. Game of two halves, uh, well not really two halves, but Bernard with the ball now. There's uh, been lots of effort into this game. Four tries to two, but this... Uh, only six points to difference. Comes out the left hand side to Brown. Chaz Brown going through, pushes one player off, pushes the other player off, goes over the line and scores a try. He'll be jubilant about that. Big smiles on his face, Chaz Brown, to uh, put them well in front now by 22 points to 12. So uh, could have gone either way with that pass on the other side and that little breakaway by the Maris till they loft it. But back over this side of the park, Chaz Brown comes away with it and scores a try on the left hand side. About 37 gone by me, about three left. I think they're, they're out of danger now. Gone ahead to 22-12, it's 10 points of difference and it'll be uh, up to this man here to uh, take his time and maybe run the clock down. Uh, Ezra, no, is it Ezra. is not rain in this game at all. Rain in the first game by a lot and it's gone away. The gods have been with us and uh, we'll see what uh, Ezra can do. Most Ezra comes in now, kicks. No, it's going to be short, left hand side. No way. There's a try scorer, Chaz Brown. A man that's uh, been around a bit, played on the shore for East Coast Bays a few years ago and uh, been transferred into town and uh, now playing with Glenora. So, uh, so. 
Sherry to kick off there, long one back to uh, <coughs> Kingy. Kingy picks it up and throws it out to uh, to Samson. Samson takes it up the centre of the park, tries to take it in the middle. He's going to be brought down there. Coming again, uh, uh, Glenora. Bernard in the middle there, straightens up. Been around a while, Taz Bernard. I thought he was uh, in France at the moment, but maybe. They do have plane flights, Pete. Kavaliku uh, comes away with the ball, takes it up to the halfway line, and look at that, another seven metres from the first bit of a tackle. He uh, carries the ball well and keeps his legs pumping. Ioka to uh, take the ball out to the right-hand side, the little uh, standoff, gets it out to uh, Rangi. Rangi takes it to, up to the middle, and uh, he's brought down. He's got quick legs on him. Comes out to number 15, that's Vaki. Vaki is uh, Vaka, sorry. Comes away now, Kingy, what's Kingy going to do? Kingy's going to put a little chip through there, a little grubber kick through, and it's going to be taken in goal. I think uh, Maris have sort of decided, well, you know, at least he didn't score another try against us, it's extra points, so it's only 10 points the difference. It could make a difference at the end of the season when they go into their top six and bottom six, whatever they're going to do. When they're looking like league, who knows? So it's Siri will take the kick, and I make it full-time now, but it's... Uh, Coming up shortly, ball coming tra travel down to uh, Ezra. Ezra is going to uh, straighten up. Down the middle of the park he goes. He's broken out of the cup attack. He's broken through the half the team now. This time he's going again, still going. He's right down. He's made about uh, 35, 40 metres down there. Kingy with the ball gets it out to Bernard. Bernard takes it, going towards the line. He takes it towards the line, he's a couple of metres short of the line and to dummy half goes um, and uh, can he spin and turn and get it down? No he can't. There goes the hooter, nothing can come of that, the hooter's gone. So there we have it um, at Harold Moody Park in this Fox Memorial game between the uh, Glenora and uh, Maris. Both these teams are uh, vying for their top six positions to uh, play in the finals. Um, but Glenora scoring uh, three tries to Maris one in the first half. And then they come away with a two, two tries in the second half against one try in the second half from Maris. So uh, that's it from uh, uh, Harold Moody Park. Glenora, the home team, winning by 22 points to 12. This is Peter Bogue from Pete's Filming, bringing, uh, wishing you a very good afternoon. And we'll catch you next week at another park in Auckland.